We've recently developed a double-ended DIN style ball joint. Now, how this is meant to work is obviously with the parts from our linkage kit that are available on eBay. Assemble up the nuts onto the rod. Left hand ball joint. Same again on the other rod. I've just picked a couple of rods at random, but obviously you'd vary those rod lengths to suit your application. Right end threads in the in this part, the double ended ball joint. Now you can join three linkages together. Just back out a bit so you can see that. So you've got three points. How to adjust the the distances between the two? A simple matter of turning the rods. Because I've got left hand, right hand threads. When you turn the rods, the two will move out. And there's plenty of adjustment on these. So a carb setup is going to be quite easy. So you can balance the carburetors by just un adjusting these rod lengths by turning the rod. And then once you've got your settings, once you've got your distances, Lock the nuts off. You remember which way they turn. Um, and that's it, you, your linkage is set. These ball joints all move freely. The end ones have got the extra securing clip, which is just a safety clip, really, because even without the clip, the ball pin won't come out. That's it, and I think it's a useful addition to add to our little linkage kit um, for setting up linkages with. Well, I suppose in theory you could keep adding joints on. So, but at this lot for three, three pivots, this is ideal. Anyway, thanks for looking.